Hello, my name is Kate from Plus Palm Dog, and today I'm here with Mabel, and we're working on her downstay and leave it. Now, when we're working with dogs, at some point, we start to add variables to the commands that they know, just to increase how bulletproof it is and to increase the skill of it. So today we're going to be working on her downstay, but with a little twist, as in I'm going to throw treats on the floor as a distraction, so she's practicing not only her downstay, but her leave it as well. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and just toss a little treat just to warm her up. Mabel, down, yes, stay. And I'm gonna go ahead and start tossing treats on the floor. Now, leave it and down stay are two of the few commands that you can actually repeat as many times as you need to, just to reiterate your point. And so I'll be utilizing both of these today as well. Mabel, leave it, yes. And I'm gonna treat her after every distraction, stay. Mabel, leave it. You see, I gave her a vocal correction. I'm just gonna wait for her to go back. It's important to wait on your dog, give them a moment to do what you ask. If she's still not going down, you can help her out. Yes, stay. <clears throat> We're gonna try that again. Mabel, leave it. Yes. Stay. We're gonna do that a couple more times. Mabel, leave it. Yes. Stay. That one was definitely a little bit more tricky because moving objects do catch a dog's attention a lot more than just dropping an object and for it to be still. I'm going to do that one last time. Mabel, leave it. Yes. Now I'm going to go ahead and tap Mabel on the head to release her. Okay. And that was really nice for Mabel. She didn't, um, even though she did break once, she didn't immediately dash towards the food. You saw she just stood up, which is really nice. It gave me time to put her back into the position where she was supposed to be in. But still really nice practice session for Mabel today. Good job.